is. I mean, I changed my answer, so I, I realized the mistake. It's sex in the city. Isn't it? I don't know. I don't really care, to be honest. quicker. Ugh, my ass. I have my things full of wood. Ugh. Annoying. Yeah, I know the eyes have left less defense. So I was trying to do it at the start, but um... Uh, the stars were breaking on the platforms for some reason. I thought it was an interesting one. Um, never, never seen that with any weapon before where platforms actually break what you're shooting. Uh, which makes them fucking impossible to use. Why is the guide down there? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's so the first bit of that. I, I, I think... They were going through when I was shooting them, like, right next to me, because I think I read that it has, like, a two-tile uh, penetration thing. That's about it. He likes all the cold, that's fair. Well, that was probably the biggest waste of anything I've ever done, which is impressive, considering I've... I'm not going to make the joke. Uh... Okay. Just summon Satan, yeah, probably. You done yet? No, you're just gonna stick around for an hour. Okay, that's fine. Wait. I'm waiting. Has guy, uh, he respawned. Yeah. He respawned just after I died. 
But you can see it just sort of there. You can see the D at the end. <laughs> yeah, but if it's daytime, you can come back during the fight. Which is weird. <laughs> yeah, but like, as long as it's daytime, you have a chance of them to respawn pretty quickly. being Oh, I just realized I had the mana thing on. I wasn't even using mana. I could have done more damage with the armor piercing. Never. Wouldn't have made the slightest bit of difference, but... To be honest, I, I'm at a loss. I haven't got a clue. I mean, getting good is an option, which apparently I'm incapable of doing, so... I suppose that would make it not really an option, wouldn't it? Fortunately, cheesing it's not going to work, so we can't uh, do the good old minecraft uh, minecart method like we did last time. Best potions I can use? I had potions that I shouldn't have even had. Uh, I had uh, li uh, life force potions, which increased my health by 20%. Um, can I make wrath potions? I actually don't know. I can? Yeah, no, I can. Um, so, no, because Wrath Potions increase my damage by 20%. Oh, sorry, by 10%. Uh, we also have Chaos Potions, which... Chaos Fish? Oh, that's not what I want. Uh... I thought it was a Chaos Potion. Yeah, mo most of the ones that I didn't have are fishing based. Uh, Calming, Gills, Computational, Hunter, Inferno. Yeah, Life Force, you need Prismite. This I couldn't have got because the way you make it is with fishing in the Hallow. So that's hard mode. So yeah, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have had those. Uh, Rage Potion, that was it. Which is in the Crimson? Yeah, I can't make those. So I've got Crimson. Uh, summoning Potion? I don't know if I can actually make those. Underground Juggle? I can. Give me, gives me an extra Imp. Tried B-Nades? We did. They worked 
rather well, as they always do. Um, but I can try and farm. Uh, so I can try and. I didn't even use the Aqua Scepter that time. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, I could try and farm uh, Queen Bee, but I doubt it's going to go very well. Um. I do, I do have bees knees to fire, so maybe it'll go well. Actually, do I, uh, do I have an abomination? I can't remember. I don't know why shift doesn't... Did I get rid of it in controls by accident? No, because it works normally, right? Yeah, auto-select. Whatever. They, they just made it so you can't quick sell things anymore. Which is... Oh, menacing, nice. Uh, which is incredibly annoying. Beanades, grenades, and dynamite. Dynamite to kill off the hungry. Uh, Beanades and grenades. Once you run out of beanades. Uh, well, what I did last time was uh, what class am I going for? One that kills everything. Um, what I did is I used the bees' knees to kill the hungry, and then when there weren't many hungry left, I then started throwing beanades, which worked until I ran out of beanades. Uh, was the issue. useless. Absolutely fucking useless. What is it with them being stuck on melee speed? Like, holy shit. Pieces of grenades, yeah. Oh, it is stingers. Oh, okay, that is the most you can have. So, up a bird at the end of the highway, so if you die, you can keep going. Yeah, the respawn. Uh, I think by the. If, like, if I die there again, and I had it here, I could catch up to him, but it would only work once.
Um. I don't know. Ignore me. I can do it once at least. See, I thought I had an abomination. Or did I already try and kill her? I can't remember. No, I didn't. Let's just do it again. Still more damage? Yeah, it's true. That's if they allow you to make houses in hell. I mean, with all the other changes, I mean... Is it 1.3? Yeah. This ain't 1.3 anymore, is it? <laughs> using her own children to kill her. This is fine. Hey, Pip, good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Hippity hobbity, expect my authority. That's fair. Yeah, hey, Pip, how you doing? Cavern lair. That's true. Are you actually gonna fight me or are you just gonna sit? No, you're just gonna sit in the fucking blocks. They call master mode hard mode. Yeah, we're we're trying to do the same, but uh, I'm too shit at this game that I've spent 800 hours in, or almost 800 hours in, to even get that far. So, you know, good times, good 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 to, good time of my uh, my life spent. So that's fun. Yeah, uh, how, uh, good luck with hard mode. Hopefully you're uh, actually able to get there. Like, uh, some. Uh, but hey, Craig, we're good to see you again. Hope you're doing well and you're free. <gasps> yeah, where have you been? You sort of missed you the past couple days. I've been working on uh, Chocolate Nottingham. Let's have a look. Bit about. Also, is it just me? Is it you doing the same sound effect that... I Cthulhu does. But it charges. You just go to run your first attempt. So did I. So did I. Oh no, I did not my second. My first I got uh, obliterated immediately. Because I got stuck. So yeah. <laughs> ah, I see, that's what you meant by free. Ah fair enough. But hey, cheers for the Tier one sub, greatly appreciate the export the stream. I mean, do I need to go over all the funky cool stuff that you get? I mean, I, I doubt it, right? Also, I almost died there. So that's fun. Oh, we got the trophy, so that's good. Can I do women probably? Whoa! Let's not go down that road. I forgot that was a thing. I've got the pylon network set up then. I do indeed. Uh, yeah, we, uh, I actually got quite crafty with mine. Uh, I put my desert one over here. Because this is where my underground desert is. Not next to me for some reason. Which it always usually is. Um, uh, but our dungeon's right here. So I just teleport to it. It's pretty nice. Uh, also, yeah, Cracker with the six months. God damn. Enjoy the green fire, which is... I still need to change. 
<laughs> Still not a fan of it. Uh, but I, I greatly appreciate the uh, continued support, Gregor. Yeah, you agree fire. Uh. In fact, when I was thinking of the green fire, I was thinking, you know, um, uh, WoW has it. I can't remember what they call it, though. It's what the warlocks use. That green fire, that's what I was thinking. Or Game of Thrones, if you want to go down that road. Uh, that sort of stuff. Wow. Mystic is good. Very good. Better than nothing. Balefire? Mm. I don't think that's what it's called. Boric Acid and Sand Blaze. Oh, yeah. This is the for the jungle, snow biome, ocean, and underground. Yeah, no, I've done it. Uh, I've done... Well, I have done all of them. I've done forest, uh, desert, and jungle. Uh, I should... Uh, I can now do the ocean, because I've got two people that want to live there. So it's just easier that way. Um, I've done the cavern one, because I'm going to put the cavern one down here eventually. I just haven't been bothered because I wanted to get to hard mode. Yeah, that happened. Uh, so yeah. Well, okay, we got 51 bean aids out of that. Which isn't bad. You'll get there. Cheers, Adam. Appreciate it. Take guarding, why not? Take menacing, sure. That's it. I'll grab my boots. I would if I could. Don't even get me started on the anklet of wind. Just fucking don't. It's a stupid piece of shit item that I wish didn't exist. I... For the love of God, wish it was... I just... Out of every item in the game, I wish it could just yeet out of existence. The fact it's required to get the best boots is the dumbest thing in the world. You want to say that again without the fishing? You, you, you want to you wanna, you wanna go there with the fishing? Get out. Just, just leave. Just get out. Suggesting fishing in this stream. I'm not fishing, I refuse. It's dumb and I hate it. Guarantee you have something awesome, because I haven't got any money. I mean, you're not wrong, Pib. You're not wrong. I 
Oh shit, yeah, I need to sell that. I've already got one. Why can we not shift click to sell things? Equip the worm scarf. Funny. Living isn't the issue. Well, it kind of is, but it's kind of not. I don't have the damage. That's the thing. Uh, I need to go to the jungle. So do. It's control click? Why did they change it? It was always shift click. Fucking hate this game. Hey, Reborn. Welcome back. Well, good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. I'll say welcome back. This is usually if people have been here today. Uh, no, it was for both. They've obviously changed it because they're assholes. Where am I going? There's a hive there. Them both being the same bonus kind of game. I mean, they both did the same thing. Bees! I think you do both. I mean, I get. Like, it, like, don't get me wrong, it makes sense. I just hate it because it's a change. You have something to say? Um, go for it. As long as it's lovely and wholesome. Be so fucking careful. Fine fish play through. Hey, nice. Congrats. Was it of 1.4 or was it of uh like or something else? Because I know some people haven't been doing 1.4 because of Consoles and stuff. You started two days ago? Hey, nice! SS Gold, I can recommend making a graveyard biome next to the arms dealer. I'm gonna say. Spoilers, but it's a good way to do a spoiler because I would never have thought about doing that. Mm. Also, do you guys want me to ruin your day? Oh, are you guys ready for this? Do you guys want to know something really, really cool that will ruin your day entirely? Speaking of things that you will never do, you ready for this? You ready for this? Ah, oh. have you heard about luck? Yeah. You know, you, you know the concept of luck, right, guys? Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is this is this is great. Do you, do you, do you wanna do you wanna do you wanna know about this? Have I, have I still got it up? I don't. I've not still got it up. Let me let me let me open it back up. So uh, I was told today that in 1.4 they've actually made luck an actual thing in this game. You know that actually sounds pretty cool. You can now manipulate your own luck to get better stuff. So you know. Um, yeah, here we go. So, uh, luck is an actual thing. It's a hidden statistic, so you can't actually see what you get. Um, but they've made it a proper thing now. Um, and things that influences are ladybugs. Apparently, if you touch a ladybug, you get good luck. If you kill a ladybug, you're an arsehole and you get bad luck. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll skip that one for now. Uh, luck potions, obviously. Uh, lantern nights, when there's a lantern night going on, you get more, uh, luck. Makes sense. Uh, if there's garden gnomes around, you get more luck. Don't know why, but there you go. Um, uh, and uh, the impact of it is the the better luck you have, the better chance you have of getting stuff. So the example they use is if you have... Uh, so say the thing you're trying to do is has a 10% chance to drop or happen. Uh, if you have 
at least 0.5% luck, which would be, I don't know, uh, having uh, a luck potion active with garden gnomes near you. Easy 0.5 luck. Uh, you have a 50% chance to double the probability. So your overall probability of that thing happening is about 15% chance instead of 10%. You know, extra 5%. That's quite nice. Um, uh, there's a very, very small window where you can get uh, one luck, which gives you a 100% chance to double the probability, which puts it up to 20%. Obviously, you can get bad luck for doing certain things. Um, there's a whole bunch of items that, uh, that affect luck, which is like item drops. You know, the, the standard stuff that you would think of it. Certain things, spawning, all that good stuff. Now, should we get, should we uh, should we should we take a look at this this particular one? So this is this is the uh, the torch luck. This is this is the interesting one. So by placing torches in the correct locations, players can increase their luck. Torch luck is computed by determining two distinct scores: the positive score and the negative score, with a few exceptions. Torches placed in their preferred biome will increase the positive score, and if placed in any other location, will increase the negative score. Uh, so basically, if you just put a bunch of them around, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, so uh, if we have a look at this lovely chart here, so ice torches in the snow biome or the underground snow biome is a plus one to positive. Makes sense. Desert torches and desert underground torches, plus one. Makes sense. Or plus a negative one, obviously. Coral torches, ocean depths, plus one. Makes sense. You know, all these make sense. Jungle torches, corrupt torches, cursed, crimson, ichor, hallowed. Makes sense. You get a plus one. Bone torches uh, give you a 0.5 positivity anywhere apart from the above mentioned ones, uh, but also don't ne uh, negate your negative score. Now this is where the interesting bit comes in. Torches, base torches, like normal torches, right? See notes. We'll we'll get into the notes in a minute. Positive score zero. Yeah, makes makes kind of sense. Um, should really be in the forest to be honest. I would have thought that would be a good one. Uh, negative score, 0.5 or 2. So normal torches give you negative luck. So all those torches you've been putting everywhere, go get rid of them. They're bad. Uh, so, yeah. That's a thing. So, yeah, uh, why this is a thing, I don't know. Also, it doesn't apply to dungeons or lizard temples, great. Um, yeah, where it says positive score and negative score, it is, it's, uh, uh, Torch Luck uh, seems to probe from torches in a box of 42 tiles around the player, not including the tiles, so, uh, I think you need a certain number of positive to get the maximum. Uh, I don't know if it actually says. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. But yeah. So, in other words. Oh, and you can also check your luck status by talking to the wizard. Do you, do you want to see the funny part about all this? Trivia. According to Red, I think is one of the developers. I'm guessing so. The luck system was added to punish those who use the wrong torches for each biome. So, in other words, if you, yes, you, put torches everywhere, just normal torches because they're, they're the easiest to make, go fuck yourself. There you go. Can you stack torches to get more luck? Uh, up to point two. Like, it caps at a point two. So, to get maximum luck, you need ladybugs, torches, it's four, uh, and then the luck potion at over five minutes, and then lantern knights is the only way to get uh, uh, maximum luck. And the only, you only get it for five minutes. Because the, uh, the luck potion... If you use greater luck potions, um, you'll get it for five minutes. Because then it goes below five minutes. Because it lasts for ten minutes. Uh, and Latin Knights only occur if you kill a boss for the first time. And then it'll happen on the next night. 
So you get it for five minutes that night. That's it. Uh, the uh, But then the second highest is obviously uh, nine if you don't have the no Lantern Knights. Because Garden Nemesis plus two says two, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. See? Yeah, it's basically just a big old fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you too. So yeah, there you go. I've ruined everyone's day. You're welcome. If you look up luck on the Terraria wiki, you'll find this page. You can read it all. Um, but yeah, and it was so it, it was introduced with four uh, with one point four. So there you go. That's a thing that exists. Yeah, so you can you can easily get max negative luck. Oh wait, I didn't know. I didn't go over that. Uh, if you have negative luck, where is it? Uh, impact, here we go. Uh, so, yeah, so we had, we did the positives. If you have negative luck, if you have minus 0.5, uh, you have a 50% chance probability that the probability is halved. So your overall probability for a 10% chance thing would be 7.5. But if you have n negative 0.7, you have a 70% chance that it's halved. So your probability is about 6.5 for a 10% thing to drop. Imagine that on trying to get a 1% drop rate. Fucking ridiculous. Um, so, to get negative 0.7... Oh, you actually can't get negative 0.7. It's weird. Uh, players can max out their luck at one, but their luck can their luck cannot go below 0 0.7 minus 0 0.7. Each frame, a player's luck is nor uh, normalized to its rate to this range, uh, as bad luck is slightly harder to achieve than good luck. Hmm. Well, okay, if you have bad luck, if you have the wrong torches around, that's a negative. That's negative 0 0.3, and if you kill killed a ladybug, it's negative 0 0.2. So actually, if you just don't kill ladybugs, then you're fine. Like, as long as you never kill a ladybug, you never go below the normal probability. Your tape was already ruined. Same. <sighs> Bottles of honey, that's it. Try the entire... Yeah, so the way you get the uh, good luck from ladybugs is you... Sorry, I'm very close to my mic now. Uh, yeah, what you do is you release the ladybug and then you touch it. Like, your it's your hitbox has to intersect with its hitbox. And then you'll get good luck for 12 minutes. But if you kill one, you get bad luck for three minutes, I think. Yeah, big statue might work. I'm not entirely sure. Sides. It's fair. It's also from all over the world, yeah, pretty much. Uh. Yeah, Star Bond, the Runa? Yeah, probably.
hell wing bow is better than bee's knees? Well, does the hell does do the bats actually home in or not? It's got more pierce than bee's knees. Drink bow juice if it's from fire and requires one narrow shoots bats. I mean, ocean for is pretty easy to obtain. I do have one. I can try it. Is a real weaker. Even with the hive pack enabled. Well, I've got the hive pack on, which I would have thought would have made it slightly better. Don't you love fighting a boss that you can't hit 90% of the time? Oh, it's great. the beekeeper. Oh. I did not know that. That's warding though. Oh wait, no, I. Hmm. I think I have another one, right? Yeah, I do. Boop. It's four defense out the window. You know, we weren't weak enough as it was. I can't even like so it's, it's your regular try and play through. That's about right. See the number of health you have? What? I mean, you hover over it, it tells you what. Use both necklaces? Do, do they stack? There's no way they stack. Two different things they should stack, just like different clouds in a bottle. Someone tells you to start to know 10 defense rather than 5. I didn't know this thing existed. Is, is this not like a 1.4 thing? I'll take that. It is? Ah, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Uh, who else was I going for? 
I need to buy bee nades, but I was I was grabbing something you guys mentioned. Oh, the bow. Hasty, nimble. Go for the hasty one. I'm gonna see if you guys are right. Just my way figures things out. Oh, I know why there's no strategies on here, because there's a fucking page for it. He's going to have eight defense. The eyes are going to have none. Because... Take away ten from that, it's negative four. Hey, Frigid, good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Or welcome back, I should say. No? What are you... <laughs> I'm looking at wall of flesh. Do you really think we're there? Uh, and this will go down to eight. Hey, if I get them into small... Yeah, well, I don't care. The ones I've actually... This is the hotel. This is where people come to be like, Hey, can you move me into a different house? I just haven't made these people's different houses yet. Because I haven't been bothered to. Because fuck them. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Whatever. <laughs> but no, we're not. Yeah, we uh, have slightly struggled to do Wall of Flash. We get, we get to about half health and then, and then die, which is fun. So going through literally anything we can find to help. Oh, I have to actually aim this? Ugh. The accuracy on this thing is fucking atrocious. Tim just wrote a paragraph about how much you appreciate me. It's fine. <laughs> you, trust me, you don't you don't need to go through the efforts. It's all good. I appreciate the thought, though. Yeah, this this will definitely be better against the wall because it will hit all the hungries and stuff. And I mean, it is, it is this fight is going quicker. Like we are we are doing more damage. That was definitely Quirko. Uh, and I, know, I never said that, thank you very much. I just didn't want Frigid writing an entire paragraph about how much they appreciate me when I can't read. 
So I just be like, oh, cool. And then, and then pretend I can read it and it just feels bad. Cause it's like, oh, what's your favorite part? Ah, oh, you know, all of it. <laughs> so cool, that works. Also, they use like 400 fucking arrows. <laughs> Deadly. Why am I like this? So you know how I was saying, oh yeah, this is actually not bad. Just end it. Something not really, 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 really shit. Okay, we'll stick with unpleasant. <laughs> uh, I have no buff potions either, so this is gonna be fun. How many bean aids do you think we need? Just to get a rough consensus of what what, what people think. Six hundred and sixty-nine. Nice. Well over a hundred and fifty, most likely. One hundred and fifty-two. Does that count? Four twenty. Four twenty would probably be enough. Oh, All right. Let's try this again. Got one more to do, and then. I guess we'll uh, go from there. Try the bed trick. Oh. Uh. Sure. It's an idea, at least. As well as being aids and grenades, yeah.
Hey, Trick, uh, we're going to put a bed at the end of uh, our platform. So if we die, we should hopefully respawn in front of it, uh, in front of the wall of flesh, basically giving us another life to do it. Finally, it stopped moving. Jesus Christ. That was terrifying, as always. Right. This should hopefully put us at about 200. Okay, so what was it? Control, did you guys say? <gasps> it is. Yay, I can now <laughs> control click, I guess. Fucking game. <laughs> Fuck's sake. One nine seven. Okay. One nine seven. Uh right, okay, so we have money. So we'll try and get that worked. Gonna keep it for now. Oh, okay. Um, let's spend the rest on grenades. Right, so we have. Jesus Christ. Okay, this is this is gonna go interestingly. 197 B nades, 99 grenade, sorry, two stacks of grenades, and then bows. Because these do, these do range damage. Actually, wait. Oh my god, my armor actually increases it. So these now do a 19% chance critical strike. Okay. Uh, potions, there's not much else we can do. We've got armor, skin, swiftness, and regeneration. Uh, oh, heart reach, okay, yeah. Uh, thorns, why not? Uh, water walking, just in case. Obsidian skin. Uh, that's about it, really. Archery potion doesn't do anything for us. 
because it doesn't do range damage, it just does arrow damage. As we're not using arrows, it doesn't do a lot. 